Hey guys, thanks for joining. So in this video, we're gonna go over the Pablo Alto APIs and how we could interact with the device using API calls. That's gonna empower us a lot to perform a lot of automation stuff and it's really, really powerful, okay? So if you wanna get the REST API documentation, all you have to do is just go to uh, the firewall IP slash REST API dash doc and you'll get the, uh, this documentation. And also there's the XML API and to do go there, just do slash API, okay? And it will redirect you to the XML API, which also is pretty powerful, but we're gonna start with the REST API first since it's uh, a lot easier to start with, okay? And this is just our Pablo Alto firewall. So at the beginning, I would like to start to create a new um, role here, just specifying that it's for automation. So you could use your admin uh, user, but like you don't want to do that, you know, since uh, your admin user has a lot of privilege. Okay, so here for the web UI, we want to disable everything. Okay, so this automation user doesn't have access to the web UI. For the XML, we want to give him access. So it depends how you want to be strict, okay? Maybe you don't want him to import, export, or whatever. But for us, we're enabling everything. Command line, none. And the rest API for them to have full access, okay? And let's create a user on the administrator. Specify this is... Verification, no. Uh, and role base and automation okay. all right so we have that completed we have committed the change and so let's go to our poster all right so i created a collection called rest api and the first thing we're gonna start with, let's go back to all the documentation. Alright, so the REST API, we're gonna generate a key. Alright, and you generate a key just to interact with the device using your key. You could still use your um, user and password to interact with your device, but some prefer to generate a key and use this key to interact with the device, okay? So let's start by generating the key, okay? So I'm going to send it, and as you can see here, we got the key response. It's in XML format, but that's fine. Okay. All right. I think this is good enough for this first video. Just a high level overview. Please, guys, uh, like and subscribe, uh, and thanks for joining.